Hi, are you looking to invest uh, in buy to let property in your local area, but you're finding it just too pricey? Well, relax, we've got you covered. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can find the right property in the right area. We're gonna talk about buy to let property hotspots, give you everything you need to know. It's just what works. Let's get into it. So, forget London prices you're very rarely going to find the right yield that you want down south. Uh, personally, I'm a landlord, uh, Adam, landlord too. We're property sourcers and we find the results are best in the Midlands and the Northeast. In fact, uh, in the North. The further up north you go, Northeast, Northwest, the yields get yep. progressively better. So that's what we're going to talk Definitely. about today. Um, identify the real property gold mines. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about the types of houses to buy. Um, these areas, they are packed with investable opportunities. Yeah. And, that's and what we we're know that because... We've done it thousands and thousands exactly. of times. So yeah. uh, I'm Jess. I'm Adam. We are ForTheLandlords.com. We're a letting agency. We're also the UK's number one pro property sourcer. Um, so we're talking from experience. Everything we're going to talk about here today is mm. stuff that we do. Yeah. So let's kick it off. Exactly. So we specialise basically in, well, for the majority of the time, boring, standard, people call it vanilla, buy to let Which properties. is what you want, by the yeah, way. Exactly. Who wants excitement from their investment? No, thank you. No. If you want excitement, go skydiving. If you want reliable returns, boring vanilla is great, yeah? Yeah, and we, we operate in what we perceive to be all the major hotspots, the buy-to-let hotspots in the UK. And for some people, if you're living in the south of England, specifically I talk to a lot of people, they can be quite surprised um, when we tell them the areas where we work, but we'll tell you that today. Um, these, maybe you could call them hidden gems, mm -hmm. can offer you unbelievable returns yeah for lots of people they are hidden and uh, yeah. without a london price tag exactly yeah. so um yeah the, the the investable opportunity can be you know let's say in london you'd be hard pushed to find much less than two hundred fifty thousand pounds for a really? shed for a shed yeah, yeah. yeah. Garage. Uh, whereas the kind of houses we, that we buy uh, anything from, well, the, the lowest, £50,000. Yeah. Not, not everybody's into a £50,000 house, but certainly £50,000 to £150,000. Uh, and the rent level at between £750 and 1000 maybe a little bit more. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into the details in, in a minute later on. But so We've got, what, four talking points, really? Four talking points today. Yeah, we want to talk about, um, yeah, well, four, four talking points. No, number one, let's talk about... Mm. Um, yeah, property actually, sourcing. Property sourcing, actually yeah. finding the right house. Um, I think... Number one sub point, if you like, um, is, 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 is the yield and you know, finding the right property that has got a natural 8 to 10 percent yield. And if you're struggling to find that, you'll understand straight away. Or if, you're, mm. if you're looking at 3, 4, 5 percent yield, yeah. then buy to let's always going to struggle. You, you're just not leaving enough margin if interest rates go up, if a boiler breaks down, if a tenant leaves, you're losing money every month. You Indeed. want a natural 8 to 10%. Hopefully we can do a little bit more. The higher you go, you might be in a little bit of a riskier area. Yeah, maybe. Um, well, it, it perceived risk, though. I mean, you probably what I would say, you're probably in a regeneration area. Mm. That's what I would look at. Yeah. So it might be look a bit risky at first. The comparables might not be as strong. Um, the rents might be a little bit lower, but mm. they're still going to be getting capital growth if you've bought yeah. well. Um, when you're sourcing property outside of the area that you live, you need to either be spending a hell of a lot of time doing all your research and being quite available to be able to travel a lot because you need to be able to go and view those houses or you need someone to do it for you with that local yeah. knowledge. I mean, that's where we come in. But um, Should we talk just, just for 30 seconds about what, what a property sourcer does? So we're property sourcer. We're a letting yeah. agent. Once you've got the house, we'll let it out and manage and what it. What a good we, but property we also... sourcer will do is... Um, basically got and source to order the exact sort of house you're telling them you want the exact sort of investment mm -hmm. property um you would tell me your prefer preferred area of choice um preferred property type tenant profile all that sort of stuff expectation on um rental income roi um, we would then go and source to order a property that matches your specific requirements. Yeah. So you're getting what you want. And that's what a good property source will do. Yeah. Some so people don't even know yeah. a property sourcer exists. So if oh, you didn't, yeah. that, that, that will save yeah. you a lot of... There's lots of people doing it yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, I think what makes us unique is that we have 
um, teams of people who can source and renovate because mm. most houses need something. Um, a lot of the houses we compliant. buy, we'll do a full renovation on. Yeah. Uh, they need to be compliant and then we can manage the letting of it. So that sets us apart. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the hotspots. Yeah. Um, okay, so you've, you, you found <clears throat> out that you want to buy property. Mm -hmm. you, you, you realise you probably can't, you're afford, probably to can't afford it where you, where you yeah. live. You're now looking further north, which might have been a little bit of a oh, come down. You've now discovered that there's somebody who can help you. Mm -hmm. You can pick up the phone and say, I don't know where you live, but let's say you live in London and we've just talked about buying a house in the Midlands, the North, yeah. it's Sheffield, it's Manchester, it's Leeds, Liverpool, it's Actually, really, wherever. it's not it's not well, those areas. It's well, those regions. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So the buy to let hotspots. Yeah. Um, Manchester might have been ten years ago mm -hmm. or more. It's not anymore because it's really expensive. Really expensive. Most parts of yeah. Manchester. Yeah. Uh, if we're looking at like eight, eight to ten percent yeah. yield, yeah. not yeah. not in the middle of Manchester. No. no. You, you can look in other parts of sort of Greater Manchester, Lancashire, the smaller towns um, that are in that region, Blackburn, Bolton, for example, um, in South Yorkshire. It's probably not Sheffield, but it could be Rotherham, Doncaster, Barnsley. Mm -hmm. It's not Nottingham anymore. It was in Mansfield for a while. Even that's going up in value. Mm -hmm. Coming down Stoke-on-Trent and crew work very well. Um, and then across from, well, I'm going, scattering all over the place yeah, 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 well. um, Moving out of Yorkshire, you can look at Hull, Grimsby. They work really well. Um, and then further into the northeast, your Tees Valley area, Hartlepool. Stockton on Tees, Middlesbrough, and then the Tyne area, yeah. South Shields. That's, that's, and that's those, probably you know smaller it, towns the, or Sunderland. The next yeah, next hotspot away that's from really Newcastle. Yeah, we Newcastle. About yesterday, actually, some with, of the yeah, some of the property in Newcastle itself is really expensive, mm. but outside of it, and then towards Sunderland, you get really good deals. Mm. Um, and they, we operate in all those areas, mm. so but we, we have to. We, we have no, to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Exactly. If you want, if you want that natural eight to ten percent yield, you're going to have to go to one of those areas. So, talk well, about I've seen your portfolio change in Tumbling and you from Northampton to Nottingham yep. to buying in those areas I've just mentioned yeah. for that reason. Yeah. So. But on that, so I've been invested in for nearly twenty years now, um, and yeah, first off in Northampton, and I was buying a house for between fifty and a hundred thousand pounds. Then Nottingham, the same, uh, a little bit north. Of Nottingham, mm. so South Yorkshire, North North Notts, and then yeah, yeah, Grimsby, North East, North West, Stoke. So it leads um, us quite nicely into the next talking point, mm -hmm. which is the property type, right? Property type. Yeah. So, what sort of houses have you traditionally always bought? And yeah. typically, this is what we source for clients. I was having a chat with a, a guy this morning on the school run, trying to talk him out of a leasehold flat. Well, yeah, don't, no, no well, leasehold flats. Yeah, well, I've got, got a few, leasehold. and they're, they're yeah. a disaster. You bought them twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you didn't know what you're doing as much. Yeah, yeah. Um, but our typical property type is the, the sort of property where 65% of the population live. They live in a two or a three bed terraced or semi-detached house. It's a fact. Mm. Um, well, most people, you might not live there mm. and you might not recognize that as an area that you, yeah. You might think, Maybe well, you don't even drive through an area that looks like that, but yeah. it's where 65% of the UK yeah, lives. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Vanilla? Um, yeah. A bit boring. Yeah, safe great. and steady. Great. Stay safe. Yeah. The fad for families is not going away. You know, it's like, <laughs> exactly. People yeah. need houses to live, and that is where you'll get the biggest. You can find them because they exist. Mm -hmm. You can um, uh, all the things around them, all the, all the you know, mortgages, uh, the, yeah. build, the builders. Everybody understands them. There it is. There's a house. It's worth that. And putting a new boiler in is going to be you know, fifteen hundred quid. And I don't know how yeah, to fix the plumbing. They're, they're I know close how to, to the schools. All, yeah. They're close to amenities. Yeah, exactly. Like, Everything's good. Easy. Transport links, like yeah. you say. Um, you can renovate them. You can do all the work that's required. You if you really came to it, you could sell it. If you, yeah. it, it, there's an open always reason, a demand to sell it. Good always point. a yeah. demand to sell it. So, so if, it, it's a very safe, steady, um, easy way to invest in property. It's not tricky. You don't have to learn a new thing every time. Mm. It's you just get into it. Now, um, interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I bought in this order as, throughout my career, twenty years uh, as a landlord, no, uh, Northampton, Nottingham. Then let's let's call it Sheffield. It wasn't quite Sheffield, but um, you know, and the that, ease of ease of pointing out. And, the and then let's talk about you know Manchester again. It wasn't Manchester. The surrounding areas, like Adam says, the actual the actual name of the place, Manchester. No, it would never have been Manchester. It's the outer areas. That's where the hot spots are. That Manchester or Sheffield is that's done and dusted. It's too expensive. It's city centre numbers. So you can see going there. But all those houses that I bought. If I went back to Northampton and showed you a picture of a Northampton house from 20 years ago, yeah, they look the same, right? and I went to the northeast and showed you a picture of the northeast house, 
they would look identical okay. in terms of the layout, the, you know, the, 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 the front, the picture, the door, the, everything about tenant it. Tenant profile would be tenant very profile similar. Tenant profile really similar. Yeah. Uh, the Young only families, difference, working professionals. The only thing. difference today would be the values mm -hmm. and the rents. Of course. But and this is this is why we this is why when you, you, you're looking at a video with a title, is it too pricey in my area? This is why this is relevant. In the Northampton properties, when I bought them. The numbers were identical, identical to the houses in the northeast that I'm buying now that look yeah. the same and the prices of that today. So if exactly. I bought a house yeah. in Northampton for £75,000, um, it's not like 15 years, 15, 14, 15 years ago, now you can buy the same house in the northeast for that number and it rents for the same number, but mm. the house in Northampton is now worth £250,000. Yeah. That's quite a big jump. I've been making money all the way through on rent and it's gone from 75 to, in some cases, 300,000 pounds in that time. Not all of them gone to 300,000 pounds, but you will make more money in capital mm. growth if throughout the rent. And what if you, you do the maths, that's more money in capital you growth than rent. You could probably find someone back then telling you, are well, you crazy, why are you buying that house there in that part oh, of Northampton? Of them. Of them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as someone would say now, why would you buy that house there in the yeah, Northeast yeah, or yeah. in South Yorkshire or whatever, it's same. When I said yeah. earlier on, a bit risky, um, mm. Risk is, is it's all about what you know. The, the more you know, the less you put, the less risk. So, yeah. so that we're talking specifically about the northeast now. Because yesterday we had a chat with a guy mm. from the northeast. Is, is our sourcing partner in the northeast, and we were talking about where should we be buying. And we have this conversation about all sorts of places. And the, the time that you come to think about it or talk about it, uh, it might be a different place. But the, we got to the very specific. You know, there's an Amazon warehouse there. That whole 75 acre mm. site is being knocked down and this is going to be done. That road is going to go there. Now, if you know that that's coming and it's, you know, the planning's in, the, 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 they've started to dig in the, the hole in the ground and it's on its way, it's going to be five years before that's finished. It's going to be another five years before that really starts to impact in the area and the schools and the, the, the extra playground that goes in and the amenity space and the shopping centre that comes along because of it. And everything brings the prices up. It takes yeah five years, ten years, mm -hmm. and that happened in Northampton. It happened in Nottingham. Uh, it's happened in the areas around Sheffield where we bought in the north north uh, west as well. I can see it happening in the northeast. Yeah, definitely. So talking about the types of houses, it's the vanilla boring two and three bed, um, semi terrace could be a detached, but yeah, the, the, the cheaper stuff in an area that's coming up. And then actually, you can pick the street that's gentrifying as well. So we, we, yeah. we you, know, you can't always get that spot on. But some of the ones I was talking about in Northampton, uh, maybe I bought it for 75 and it's now worth 200. And that did all right. But some of them, 75 and it's worth 300 because it just so happened that, that area became yeah. the fancy area. You know, exactly. Like Mapley Top. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where Adam is. So that takes on to the fourth talking point, hmm. which is management. Management, right? yeah. yeah. And, and if you're finding it... So hold on a minute. You've... Um, you've realised you need to buy out of your area, mm -hmm. so you've found a house. Yep, um, the right kind of house, you, yeah. You've, you've done it all, yep. but now it needs management, no. and, and, and you're miles away. You're miles away, and that would be there. Oh, houses around me, and this is the thing that holds people but, back. Your yeah, houses around me are too expensive. I can see those ones over there would work, but I don't want to buy too far from my house. I mean, yeah, yeah and it's a legitimate concern. It's something you should be thinking about. Buying a house a long way away over there, 100 miles away, 200 miles away, is it's problematic if you don't get it right. Hmm. So the long-term yeah. management, yeah, you need, like you need a good letting agent. But yeah. I, I think that's equally true if you actually are buying a house where you live. Because yeah. unless you're doing it full time and unless you've sort of got some kind of you know landlord qualification, um, the reality is you need a letting agent to make sure you're always compliant, to make sure your paperwork is perfect, your tenancy agreements. <clears throat> you're referencing your credit checks that you your rent level is always at market rate um, the tenant has always got someone they can call 24 hours a day every single day of the year in case the water pipe bursts or something in the middle of the night on mm. you know boxing day or something and you're you're away on holiday um, so you know it's a full-time job every single day of the year um, regardless of where you live, you just need a good agent yeah I'm biased I own a letting agency I'd say use a letting agency but before I owned a letting agency, I used a letting agency. Yeah. And I never, yeah. I, I never, that's not true. I considered doing it um, and myself. Do you know what? I, had, I did have a little go in, in between. Yeah, you probably um, made, yeah, made and mistakes, I, right? I made a load of mistakes. I know, because you told me you used to go and 
open the door to the first tenant who, and then they'd say, I can pay, give you some money Cash today. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. I, the, the, the list of things that I you have been taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, even even in my, my my sort of late thirties, when we were we were, there was a point when we started a letting agency, and it wasn't very good because it's a it was very very much similar to me managing my own properties. I had a little bit of help, but it was quite yeah, ju- yeah. junior help, and I just didn't know all the things. Only when we got proper yeah. qualified professionals, which well, we've got one hundred and forty years of combined experience yeah, in the office now. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say um, that I've, I've, why got, I've you, got better. Yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't you use a company that has a hundred plus years of experience? Yeah, it, 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 um, it's it, yeah. You'll get a higher rent. Um, you will get lower voids. You will get less hassle because all the compliance is taken care of. And believe me, the hassle, the things that you put to the back of your mind, um, you know. Uh, we're, we're probably way past well, that phone call we were with but a couple of our guys those, yesterday and one yeah. of them is um, actually he's the, our sourcing and renovation manager um, for the Yorkshire Hull area and um, he took a phone call and it was actually from a tenant yeah. that he'd done the oh, initial yeah, move in yeah, yeah. and I overheard the phone call and the oven had stopped working and I said why are they calling you he said oh she's got my number from when she moved in mm-hmm. I've always told her she could ring me if she needs anything some local and uh, I'll just send an electrician around and whip it out yeah. and fix it yeah, that, um, that call could have been. That come was amazing. You wouldn't have wanted that as you were being, you, you know, based in the southeast. The time you that get call that phone call in, from a tenant in Hull, yeah, yeah. you don't want that. The time that phone call yeah. came in, you would have been at work. Mm. Or it could have come in later and you could have been, you know, having dinner with the kids or out watching the sports. Day. You, you don't want it. You don't want it. And also, you're not best place to deal with it. Mm. And, and this is the thing, because the only thing that's stopping you is the, the pain for it. Yeah. That's it. Now, we're talking about a, 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 the, the chat that Adam's called about. It's good called Dean, the, the partner that, that does the sourcing, Dean will fix that cheaper than you could have done. So actually, it paid for itself. Yeah. He's, he's got it done, like literally. There was somebody there fixing it the next day. Tenant's happy. The tenant's happy, which yeah. is very important. And the repair is cheaper than you would have done it and you'd have caused yourself a hassle. So get a really good agent. Mm. And at that point, it doesn't matter where in the world you buy your property, does it? Yeah. And actually, some people watching this video will be abroad. Adam's got clients who we are with source property for them. Never, never mind living in London and buying in the, the Northeast or the Northwest or the Midlands. They live in, oh, oh yeah, Oman, Dubai, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, yeah. Singapore, Germany, uh, South Africa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if that's you, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's we're world, definitely. worldwide known. Yeah, no we, we were looking at our um, YouTube stats the other day and it was over half of the, no, just, uh, just under half, it was 45%. Mm. In the last 28 days, maybe, or something. Not in the the UK, so there you go. There we are. They're the four things you need to know. You know, if you're you're struggling to find property in your local area at a a price that works, that gives you your yield that you want, hopefully that's part of the answer. Mm. Um, Getting started is easy. If there's something you want to take forward, Tom, how how do they do it? How do they get in touch with you? And uh, Well, um, there'll be a link in um, in the description of this video. Um, which will send you to my calendar. You can book a call with me. We can talk about how we source property for clients. And if you want to join our waiting list for to be able to place an order with me um, for your first property, your next property, I can do that. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, feel free. I, I can, you know, speaking from experience, Adam sources my properties for me. Um, get in that first conversation. It's, it's, it's free. It's no strings, no obligation. It's a chat. You know, it's a nice chat. Uh, you sort of sit around have a chat about what it is that you're trying to achieve, put it into some sort of plan, place the order, which is, you know, it, it's a, um, I'm, I, I bought some time from that source to go and find me exactly what we want and we decided what we want and, and off they go. It's yeah. pretty, pretty damn seamless, looking after the conveyancing, the renovation and then getting it into management, all with those video yeah. updates. The, the guys exactly, do a nice yeah. video update, so it just comes through, it's, 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 it's pretty slick. Uh, so if that's you, book a call. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Thank Don't you. forget to um, like, subscribe, click the bell. If you could do all the things that you can do um, to help us out, obviously, hopefully you've got some, uh, some uh, value out of the video, so that'd be great. Um, so do those things. And if you subscribe, of course, you'll keep getting this kind of content. And we make these kind of videos, how-tos, tips, things that we think are going to be, or no, actually, I'm a landlord. We speak to enough landlords, we know mm. these are going to be useful for you. So subscribe and you'll keep getting these videos. See Bye you for now. Cheers.